يقول ما يعرف المرأة وما يعرف المرأة and open market in human beings. This one takes place in the courtyard of an old fort. Three men and three women are on sale, all African. They appear resigned to their fate. Not all slaves come from black Africa. They can also be procured on the Arabian Peninsula. Sometimes all you have to do is organize a party, the kind the British have called slaving parties. We hear about such a party in Qatar. There's music, dancing, laughter, the kind of entertainment that doesn't take place every day in the desert. The girls come out of the shelter of their homes. They arrive from nearby villages. The canny organizers of the party have accomplished their purpose. They can study the girls at their leisure. Decide which ones they will try to buy from their fathers or their husbands, which ones they will have to kidnap. Slavery we are too often abolished. In point of fact, it's still so. Hello and welcome everybody. Today we're going to talk about uh, hijab or niqab or the veil. Uh, everybody want to name it wherever they want. So today we're gonna go and look for the roots of this tradition in the Islam and where it's come from and how it come to us. Uh, first, we're gonna I'm gonna refer to one hadith that all Muslim use and everybody use is from Asma bint Umar, bint Umar, the daughter of Umar bin Khattab. She said, oh, she go to, to the Prophet house with a, with a thin, thin clothes, you know, she, they can, she, they can see what's inside, thin, and it's not like uh, covering nothing, and he's go away from her, he don't want to see her, and say, oh, Asma, uh, if uh, the, the woman get oh, uh, get to menstruation uh, menstruation period then she have to cover uh, all her body at least this uh, face and and hand and he show to show her his face and hands so she have to cover everything and this hadith is uh, is is uh, is daif daif jiddan daif you can be used for uh, for that reason, Ibn al-Baz is a late, uh, late uh, Muslim uh, uh, correction uh, scholar. He said about this hadith, he said, We hear from the, some people that you respond to the hadith as Asma bin Abi Bakr in a five way, in you know, five reasons, which we know, we hope you will explain those five reasons. So he's going to explain this five reason here. First, they give the shawahid on the ayah Qur'an. He give the Qur'an for his uh, thing when he's going to start. And they talk, they say about hadith again. And uh, they say they have a hadith in uh, Sahih al-Bukhari. He said, and Aisha acts, uh, acts this thing, you know, against this hadith. And the first reason he brings, he said, uh, the first of them is that the narrator on the authority of Aisha called Khalid bin Dariq not, uh, not meet Aisha. The guy who's, uh, who's narrated uh, the hadith from Aisha, he doesn't, uh, he born after Aisha dead for a long time, maybe between, uh, between uh, three to four, two, to six, seven years like that. So he said this hadith, and he, his narration about uh, her is an uninterrupted narration. 
That's why he said this hadith we can't be used. And the second reason he gives uh, is that uh, there is a man in this chain of the transition called the Sa'id bin Bashir who is weak and his narration could not be used as evidence. There is a lot of uh, you know proof this this hadith is not true. So the third is uh, Qatada who narrated who. Uh, on the authority of uh, Khalid narrated in on so called so called he narrated on someone said something but that guy he didn't say that thing for that reason they, they call him uh, they call him his weak hadith his weak na narration and his weaker chain fourth reason is the hadith does not contain the uh, frankness uh, that this was after the veil you know this is after the veil it is possible that it was before the veil and Aisha did not say that her answer to the prophet was after the veil so uh, so it it is possible that it was before the veil no is Aisha but he's the guy he's a wrong uh, make a mistake فلم تقول عائشة بدخولها. This is أسماء. فلم أسماء didn't say she go inside uh, with uh, in that time. And the fifth uh, is uh, yeah is, as أسماء is the wife. The fifth is the fifth is said this أسماء بن is is the sister of the Aisha. Is uh, her father is uh, Abu Bakr Sadiq, and she is the best woman in the faith, and this and uh, this uh, this on and that one, and she cannot uh, enter on the Prophet in in that manner. She entered, so this hadith uh, deemed to be false, and the guy who narrated the hadith deemed to be liars. So yeah, that's all about hijab in here. Yeah. Now, now we are going to see the, the verse that uh, that contain uh, the uh, khimar or uh, hijab that this say khimar or hijab in Arabic. The verse is uh, is Surat An Nur, uh, the verse thirty one. Uh, it started like this: وَقُلْ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ يَعْدُدْنَ مِنْ أَبْصَارِهِنَّ وَيَحْدُ وَيَحْفَظْنَ فُرُوجَهُنَّ وَلَا يُبْدِينَ زِينَتَهُنَّ إِلَّا مَا ظَهَرَ مِنْهَا وَلِيُدَارِبْنَ وَلِيَدَارِبْنَ بِخُمُورِهِنَّ عَلَى عَلَى جُيُوبِهِنَّ This is the 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 part of the the verse that uh, Muslims say the, the the veil is here. So and we're going to give a quicker look on this. Uh, on this one yeah because uh, we have hadith about this one as well so we can uh, explain uh, why the, this only Araba uh, mean a lot to the to the khimar as first we're gonna go down here and look for what does mean as uh, we go in uh, read first here what he say this is an order from the from God to the women of uh, Mu'minin uh, that as uh, was him they, they know they want they want them to not go out and people see them his slave uh, uh, slave Mu'minin this is uh, a thing to to them to to distinguish them between uh, the the women of Jahiliya and Mushrika وكان على البغاء إن أرادنا تحصنا and if they want to to be to be married سبب نزول هذه الآية ما ذكره مقاتل ابن حيان النجاب اسماء بنت المشرد this is this woman said that she was كانت في محلها في بني حارثة she was on a place if in in بني الحارثة on this place فجعل and the the women used to come to her without without إزار مؤزرة إزار is something to put in the body to cover the body فيبدو ما في أرجلين and then then feet have looking they put some some tags in the feet, something like that, make noise, so they make attraction. And her, their chest was was wide open. And Asma said, "This is this is this is uh, uh, bad, and uh, this is not good." And uh, the, this verse coming. This, this verse coming. Then, then he gonna go to this one. So here, let's go to the. Yeah, 
وقوله وليضربن بخمورهن على جنوبهن and he say for this uh, they put them خمور in them uh, pocket وليضربن خمور جيوب جيوبهن is called in Arabic جيوب in uh, English pockets ويعني المقانع يعمل لها صفات ضاربات على الصدور This maqani, this thing that was in the head, you took them from there, you know, and you, and you put them in between your chest. لتواري ما تحتها من صدرها وعلى ترابي إبها. يا المقانع دي put something, you know, here they put, uh, المقانع دي put something underneath, uh, underneath uh, the chest, you know, underneath between chest and stomach to, to, to lift up, uh, uh, you know, to the chest, you know, to lift up the chest so they, they can come out and... Uh, to be able to look at وصدرها وترائبها لتخفش عقول النساء لجاهلية فإنهم لم يكن يفعلن ذلك يا عند ويس تدو دا عند أسماء لدو بايك دا فكانت مرأة تمر بين الرجال مصفحة عند she said the women that time used to go front of the man is half naked لا يواري شيء nothing hiding it ربما أذهرت عنقها but perhaps show her neck والدوائب شعر عن her hair وأقرط وأقرط أدانها the thing they put in uh, in the air and uh, the, uh, the God فأمر الله المؤمنين uh, uh, God uh, ordered the the مؤمنين women to 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 cover and uh, hide يا أيها النبي قل لأزواجك وبناتك أنا يا وليضربن شققنا مرضهن فاختموهن به يا ديستاج شققنا دي بريك ديس خمار هنا وليد خمور خمور هو خمر جمع خمار خمار خمر داس تينغ دي بوت ان هاد يا يغطي به الرأس كوفر هيز هاد كوفر هاد وهي التي تسميها الناس المقانع دي كوليت مقانع ان هي ساد هيز كودم شققنا هم مرضنا بأخامل يعني كود دم and put them in 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 between chests because the verse قال وليضربنا بخمورهن على جيوبهن you mean God tell you take this خمور from your head and put them between your chest because if he tell you to cover your head he going to tell you and his pocket you know you put this one وضربنا بخمورهن على جيوبهن ورؤوسهن and his head you know so he said is not uh, he doesn't say that so that's why we go to the tafsir to see this one uh, uh, here yeah So we go to the Bidaya and Nihaya, and so this thing, how how the hijab is coming, you know. Uh, so after we see this proof of Muslim that hijab exists in the Sunnah or Quran, it doesn't exist, but it exists for another reason. So that's why I come in here to show you the, the reason that we come in. So we start from the Bidaya and Nihaya, the beginning and the end for Ibn Kathir. Let's give you a quick guys on this book. This book is a history book, and he's referring in here to to different uh, narrating people but we gonna go to the thing that's Bukhari and Muslim the thing in uh, Sahah the, the uh, authentic narration I'm just going to read the authentic narrations and the rest I'm gonna I'm gonna just uh, move on on them Ibn Malik said Qal Bukhari Bukhari said You know, even Bukhari said, but Ibn Malik who's narrating, uh, narrating the hadith, قال لك when the Prophet married Zainab ibn uh, Tujahsh, is ask people to come to his house to eat some uh, some food, and they start talking and slaves, uh, yeah. So the differ between slaves and uh, jahiliya women. والجلباب هو هو الرداء فوق الخمار. He's the the رداء. He's the jacket. Up in the in the body, and khimar is in the top. قال مسعود يعني مسعود say same thing وعبيدة وجرا وإبراهيم ورغد الخراساني. All of them say that قالت إمرأة من الهديل الثاني قد the said the 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 prophet was was married to Zainab with a bread and a meat. فأصل على الطعام دعين دي ask for food. The, the people come for food and some people come in and eat and come in and other people come in is like uh, people 
by 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 queue coming and eating and a lot of people coming and kill for the actual hat and as you ahadan ask everybody until he didn't find anybody to ask. Ya Nabi Allah ma ajidu ahadan alo kala alfa utaamukum he said take up your food and go wabaqya thalata and three people stay there from Tanaka Ahla Hazra and three people stay there don't want to go and I think he doesn't like it and he go to the the room of the Aisha and he said uh, uh, peace be on you Aisha and he starts speaking with her I think he passing time with her. That's what's saying here. What papers are uh, And she asked him, "How how is your wi new wife?" And Fataqa Hazar Nisa Ikulihina. Fataqa 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 Hazar Nisa Ikulna. We say to them what we say to Aisha. We say to them what we say to Aisha. And they ask him what they say to her. Other women say to her, and she he told her what other women tell her. It's like normal. Then he returned, and he came back when and these three people. ثلاثة في البيت يتحدثون. They are still in the house talking. وكان الذي شديد الحياة. He was shy, very shy. فخرج من طريق النحو الحجرة يا عائشة فما أدرى أخبرت أم أخبر قوم الأخرج فخرج وأذا عرج وأسلق الذي وخرج 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 حتى سار بين بينه وأنزلت آية حجاب. That's what all the saying. يعني يعني the old آية حجاب is that is coming to tell people don't come to inside the house of prophet and if you go there you you put something between you so if I, you know between you and them you know so it's like a, it's like a cover between you here the same same thing same thing same narration just with a little bit different uh, here the I put the name ten ten yeah so they just uh, Muslim always uh, like, like now write a lot of ahadith you know mixing together and going inside you know they don't have one uh, you know one story going straight away you have to dig in and looking for uh, for example here is Nujarir if I want to speak about this one uh, people gonna come and tell me you using the you're using the not sahih waqala muslim al hijab yeah that's all about Al-Bidaya uh, and Nihaya. Al-Bidaya and Nihaya. Let's go to another. Uh, the, the reason uh, the, this hijab come in is that these people, they was to come inside the, the Prophet house, yeah? And they was looking for to speak and talk, you understand? That is why Omar was not happy and Omar said, said he's he's three time say something and they was revealed in the quran you know he said three times he said Umar wa i think i have hadith here and uh, muslim al hadith i know al hadith yeah Yeah, this is this is the hadith uh, that Omar say. Uh, uh, the Omar is the reason was why the hijab come in. He said, "Hadathana Omar ibn Awn qala hadathana Hutaym." This was Sahih al Bukhari Kitab Salat. So it's nobody gonna tell me this hadith is not uh, authentic or something else. So we go here to Anas ibn Malik. So all of this, uh, this is all of them. Is authentic, uh, like clean people. You can't just argue with them. Qala Umar bin Khattab radiyallahu anh. He said, "Wa faqtu Rabbi." Let's do it to English so you can understand. My Lord, uh, narrated Umar ibn Khattab. He said, "My Lord, agree with me in three things." He, his Lord, agree with him in three things. I said, "Oh Allah, Messenger, I wish we took the the station of Abraham." And the verse of Abraham will come in for some hour prayer, you know, pray in a place. So came the divine the impression and take our people to the station of Abraham as a place of the prayer. For some of you, prayers A to rank and to tawaf and uh, this and that is two, uh, Surah 2 verses 125. And the second thing that uh, his Lord agree with him, uh, and as a regard of the verse of the veiling, of the veiling, here, of the woman, 
you know, of the veiling of the women, I said, Oh Allah, oh Masanjal, oh Allah Masanjal, I wish you order your wives to cover themselves from the, the men, from the men, because a good and a bad ones talk to them. Because he was really, you know, jealous, not jealous, but he was scared of people for his daughter. You know, his daughter was just too young, you know, six, seven years at that time. I think it was ten years, you know. That is why he ordered, he ordered the Prophet to, to, to put this verse, you know, the veiling verse in the Quran. It doesn't mean putting cover in the head. It just he wants to separate wives of the Prophet between him and other people. So he said here, the verse veiling of the woman, I said, O oh Messenger, I wish you order your wives to cover themselves from the man because a good and a bad one talk to them. So the verse of the veiling of the woman was revealed. Once the wife signed the, the Omar, Omar agree with the with the Lord, you know, or Lord agree with Omar. Once the wives of the Prophet uh, made a unit fr f front, unit f unite. Yeah. Once the wives of the prophet uh, made a united front against uh, against him, and I said uh, to them, "It's my. It may be if he, the prophet, dis divorce you, divorce you all, that he is Lord Allah. We will give him instead of you wives better than you." So the verse. The same as I had say was revealed. Sixty is Surah sixty six five. And all of this, and Muslim used to argue about hijab. There is no hijab in uh, in the Quran. It was uh, a distinction between the slave and uh, and uh, and the free women. That's all about hijab. Let's show you something here. What Omar used to did to do to, to, to the slaves here is said that's kitab uh, that's kitab musannaf ibn shayba kitab salat al-tawwal ima yeah here is said حدثنا أبو بكر بن شيبة قال حدثنا سلمى حدثنا علم الشعبية عن المسرع قال يصط صلي الأمى كما تخرج the 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 أمى the slave pray same as they go out you know that's why they say. Uh, let's see if we can find the translation. We don't have this. Uh, this book doesn't have translation to English. Doesn't have translation to English. Yeah. A slave girl prays as she exits. Pray, slaves will pray as a, you know, she doesn't have hijab. Praise girl doesn't have hijab. Same this one. So, Salli al Amakama Takhrush. You see this one as well. I mean, there is no, there is, there is no. The veil or the khimar as known today is not exist in the, in, in Muslim uh, Muslim sources, it doesn't exist. It's just a new invention. I don't know how they, they, they put it down there. The mother of the son prays without wine, even if she is 60 years old. See, the thing, the, all about the uh, distinguish between, uh, between uh, between slaves and uh, and free women, that's all the the niqab and hijab is for. You know, it's nothing about. Uh, the slave has no want. Minimize. Oh, I say down there, yeah. I bring another. I have another hadith here to show you the irony of this one. And even if the if the slave girl don't want to, what she want to wear hijab, she used to get beaten and uh, she, she to get harassed. And you, she can't, you know, she can't uh, 
uh, hide her, her nipples or her chest or anything, you know. She, she only hide her, her uh, genitals and everything and down there. The, uh, the rest, topless, you know, she can't go. She can't go. Lisa al you know. see here. This is the irony of this. Uh, they said the the um, the the slave she doesn't have to put. Uh, she doesn't have to put niqab. Uh, even she have a baby from her master. A slave woman has no wine, and if she is born from her master. Well, Khimar was a Khimar Khabar, no wine, veil. No, no, Khimar. It's a mistake down there. Oh, yeah, no problem. She can't be have no wine. Yeah. I want to show you guys here. He say he this hadith is six five. I will leave the link in the description so you can see how if you want to translate it for yourself. And if you look a book, I don't think there is a translation to this book yet. But but this six one five zero is uh, the uh, Musannaf Ibn Abi Shayba. He said. Ra'a Umar. Umar see uh, a slave. Umar uh, see a slave uh, wom a woman putting a veil in uh, her head and he beat her. Yeah. Omar saw a masked slave woman, so he struck her and said, Do not compare me to the Harai. This one as well. I'm not a cat follower, I'm not a slave, 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 i am not a of this khimar they be used today you know in any way i i did get tell you we're going to go to this one because this one is uh, is as well very important to to yeah this Yeah, we will tell you guys we're gonna have a look on this uh, this one as quickly as, as possible. Here is said Wagairi Uli Erabatimina Rija. These people they are allowed to come in, you know. Uh you did a zina to have no but you know abna ibu only to one abna you know at this verse, you know, is so many repetition, you know, you can't all the same. وَمَا مَلَكَتْ أَيْمَانُكُمْ This is the slaves. وَمَا مَلَكَتْ أَيْمَانُكُمْ أَوْ تَابِعِينَ غَيْرِ أُولِي الْإِرْبَةِ مِنَ الرِّجَالِ Let's uh, let's see what this mean. Hi. <coughs> and this is we go to do this one. So we have to go. Hi. أَوْ تَابِعِينَ غَيْرِ أُولِي الْإِرْبَةِ مِنَ الرِّجَالِ He say. كَالْإِزَاءِ وَالْتِبَاعِ الَّذِي رَسُودِ بِأَكْفَعِ the people who, who who have no fit and mean by fit here fit for uh, for uh, for sex and yani he paid for intercourse with women and they, they are like this they born like this and they that they don't have any 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 you know any desire for women and they don't you know they don't have a desire for women and وقال ابن عباس وهو المغفل الذي لا شهود ابن عباس said this is the guy who who don't care you know he doesn't care about nothing in in life no even a woman nothing you know he's just you know وقال مباجع والأبلة the guy he said what a crazy man عكريم السعد وهو المخنث الذي لا the guy doesn't stand up his penis doesn't erect وقال كذلك وغيره من السلف 
God, God speaking, God speaking, speaking. It's really, you know, that's is Islam. I Krima said he is the effeminate who does not hold his cock. This is the, the 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 irony of the Islam, you know. They just show you what is beautiful. That's all. وغير لوب من الرجال ولا يصلي في صحيح حديث زهري. You know we have صحيح about this one. I'm gonna show you here. Where is he? Where is he? No, did I? Yeah, this here. Yeah, here. حدثنا محمد حبرنا عبد الرزاق عن معمر عن الزهري عن عروة عن عائشة قالت كان يدخل على أزواج النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم مخنث. They used to to go inside and wife of the prophet one day a guy like this مخنث يعني he is like a woman. He's a guy but he's like a woman. It's in here مخنث. فكانوا English we have English you know. Yeah, Aisha reported that Inuhura used to come to the wives of Allah. Inuhura, Inhush, Inhush. Yeah. No, they should have put here a lady boy, a lady boy. You know, don't Muslim, don't be shy. You know, just put think as it is. You know, if you want your religion to be to be accepted. You know, people are gonna look and see what is this. You know, what is this? Eunuch. 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 Yeah, okay then, Eunuch. You understand early. No, that's a lie. On uh, English, Hadith said Aisha reported that an Enoch used to come. No, that's wrong. Uh, Enoch. You know, I did. I did search Enoch. Enoch is say the man who have had their testicle removed, and that's is uh, is lie. The guy he said here is not his testicle removed. He he just like a woman. You know, the Hadith is clear. You know, without any sexual desire. Consider no. That's that's wrong translation. Anything objective in his visit? No, all this is all this is lies. All of this lies. He had characteristic. You see, they have some wives, and he ha was busy in uh, describing the body characteristic of lady and saying he was busy describing character of lady. But here, he said al muhannat in tafsir in tafsir when we come here al muhannat. The guy who have no, you know, have no desire, you know, he have no desire. See here, الذي لا يقوم, you know, the hadith here, صحيح. They say same thing in the hadith in the Arabic, but if you if you just switch to English, yeah, he will have. وقال فدخل على النبي يوما وهو عند بعض النساء. He said مخنث, you know, he said مخنث. فكانوا ي ي يعدونه من غير ذو الإربا. they they used to you know to 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 used to come inside you know just and then when when the verse of the hijab come in and the hijabu they they put hajj between them because the order was for the wives or prophet you know it was not for all it's just for the wife of the prophet that's hijab in the first time when he come in. Yeah, I think it's all uh, 
all uh, about this one if you need any any links i uh, i will put everything in uh, the link in down in the description below so you guys can search for yourself and you see this hijab is just a lie a new lie about new islam it's uh, it's about 100 years old if you look in the picture in the 70s 80s even the 70s in the in the, in the you know in the, in the 50s and the 60s was nobody wearing hijab because it was not exactly Exist, you know it wasn't exist that time nobody knows hijab it's uh, now was only used as a propaganda to, to separate people uh, between uh, you know to separate communities especially here in the west you know use a uh, is like a power it's a weapon to control people that's all